there are some ridiculously high priced skins in the game, so I asked top tier CSGO skin owners how they got rich, what advice they would give to the guys who are just starting out, and much more. Luxus Bums, how did you afford this AK? I have direct ownership in a hotel that I inherited from my father, and physical casino, which was also initially started by him in 1991. Then I created the online casino and a private equity fund that I started with my best friend. The last branch is uh, Skinbit. And what's your average yearly income? Somewhere between three and five million US dollar a year. All the uh, money that I make from skins is just like a full-time thing for me. Rather than having a job, I work with skins. How much do you earn on a monthly basis? Any random person who has like hundred thousand dollars and is able to buy and sell liquids, they could make four to five percent pretty easily. So let's say on hundred thousand dollars, you could make like five, six thousand dollars a week. Mango, how did you get rich? I'm happy to give up a broad thing, real estate, tech, that type of stuff. Lugin, what do you do for a living to afford all that? I'm a YouTuber. I'm making videos for like 11 years. How much do you earn on a yearly basis? Around half a million. A fun fact about this AK, it did some decent work in Rio's 2022 major. I started training back in 2013 and uh, I made my way up. That's how I bought this skin. I bought it last year from a Chinese collector. I'm actually in the uh, agriculture industry in my country, Myanmar. I'm actually trading agrochemicals like pesticides. Our revenue is around 30 to 40 million dollars, which is, I mean, not, not so big. I mean, compared to other players in the market, Market. The profit margin is around maybe 15 to 20 percent. Yo, Nap, what a beautiful AWP. Hey, what's up? Thanks. What did you do to afford that? I'm a medical technician, so for medical equipment. If it's not a secret, can you tell your income? It's about 40k. I've been a gamer since a young age, and I've always had businesses in the games I've played. So the first was actually, I don't know if you're familiar with the game Pokemon, buy and sell Pokemon, bro. I used to trade Pokemon. <laughs> and that's where I really got my startup capital. And I started trading about five years ago, and I've eventually been able to trade up from around a few thousand dollars to what I have now. I wanted to ask how old are you? I'm 19 years old. Next up, I wanted to find out what's the most expensive skin and how much is it worth? AK case hardened uh, Star Trek field tested 661 with four R by powers. It would have been around 250 to 300k USD. I really like case hardens because each one is very different. I mean, the 661, that's the top of the top. That particular AK is around the 55,000 at the moment. What has been your biggest profit in one single trade. Probably around 20,000 dollars, 20, yeah. I try to keep my inventory at a specific uh, amount, which is 150k USD, because there's no point in keeping it higher, because of course there's a slight bit of risk involved, like you never know what can happen if you get a false ban or something, which we have seen happening over time. So it was around a quarter, a quarter of a million maybe, is uh, 387 uh, Blue Gem Well One. My most expensive item is the carpet. The pattern is 88, it's one of one. There's a little story about that, because you know 888 in Chinese is mean get more money money and more money mm -hmm. my parents they think that 888 is a very good lucky number and so I asked them uh, this is nice the partner is 888 and I think can bring some luck to me and my mom just said okay no it's fine you just buy it. even that costs 100,000 euros next up I asked them if they still remember what was their first trade that made them to snowball to where they are now my first move in skins was getting scammed oh really I bought myself a fountain knife urban mass with the money I saved up. I remember when I was probably around 14, I met this guy online who, you know, wanted to trade with me and that knife went bye-bye. It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing that it taught me is like, you know, you always have to have integrity and reputation is very important. The only reason I'm here is because of the people I met along the way and the reputation that I built trading over the last four years, you know? Without that, I'm nothing. The first ever skin I bought, it was actually a, like M9, Gamma Doppler. I was kind of shocked to see like how a knife could be a grand. I just got really interested into the game. So, I started to put more money, more effort, more time. I started actually with souvenirs. I went from souvenirs to case hardens and I slowly started collecting kettles and that's how uh, I made it. And one guy on my team was constantly talking about the skins and he showed me, okay, they can have different colors and stuff and they can be really expensive. I'm like, this is crazy. How do you get them? You get them by these loot boxes. So I opened a couple and I opened a vanilla Ursus. In your first couple of cases? Yeah, I think I bought like 20 or so. So I was intrigued and then I started looking at it from an economic perspective. And I saw how big the scene was and like, okay, I just want to test it. So I started buying up in the different Facebook groups in Denmark and I was buying way above market price. But eventually it gave me access to buying skins and a lot of people just came directly to me and asked if I wanted to buy and I always gave a fair price. That's how I got into it. In 2013, I got an in-game drop. It was a winter offensive case at the time, worth $2. Then I traded that for something worth 2.2, then 2.5 and all the way, all the way, all the way until millions of skins. I think I traded a couple of TF to unusual hats, which are 
like CS:GO knives nowadays for a yeah. Karambit Boreal Forest if I remember correctly in 2014. Do you remember your very first move in CS:GO skins? Yeah, I lost a lot of money. <laughs> oh. Do you remember the trade? Actually, I started playing CS because of skins and lost because I started gambling. I lost like $500 and wanted to make it back so I started trading. Just started flipping. There was no trade hold back then. Do you have any valuable life advice for the viewers? Our existence is meaningless and and brief so do whatever that makes you happy in life don't listen to people around you and their expectations just don't open cases please <laughs> <laughs> one thing that might make you happy is uh, to try and turn your passion into something bigger for you it's with your youtube channel for me it's with exactly i love skins you don't have to be good at it right now but if you think there's a chance that you could be good at it make sure you pursue it and give it a shot give it your 100 what are some safe items to invest in and make some profit on niche skins are always the best to trade because you actually can get them cheap and try to get a bit of profit out of it. Stickers are always nice. What should one do if they want to start trading from zero? In Myanmar, there's a saying, right? If you don't have capital, you make yourself a capital. Basically, what that means is you, you need to actually have a good reputation so people trust you. If people trust you, you can actually be a middle middle person and, and trade. There are also websites that you can maybe even supply to, right? And, and liquidate. Since these guys deal with skins every day, I thought it would be interesting to know what skins do they consider as a must-have in any loadout. Probably the AK Redline because a lot of different stickers can be applied to it so you can you can create whatever you want. I would say low budget I would always get the Empress for the AWP. I really like the Wildfire. I would say if you have a bit of money go for a knife. Just any knife is better than the default knife. 387 Karambich Blue Gem. It's the best skin in CS Gome. What would you do to get it? <laughs> <laughs> These opinions will probably spark some arguments. Make sure to comment your thoughts down below. Bye.